That's official. That's official. It's taking line. Taking line. Taking. Feels pretty sizable. It'll be a little bit decisive and brutal now. Fish doesn't want to know. That doesn't want to know. Going down. Eh. This is coming up in the water. Up in the water. There it is. It's a shoal. It's a good size. This fish is not the Piraiba I was hoping for, but the Zhao is a catfish, and some fishermen claim it can be just as dangerous as the larger Piraiba. But it's not finished. Doesn't like the side of the boat at all. It has a reputation for being so strong on the end of a line right. that some people will tell you that it has dragged fishermen down into the depths. This is about 80 pounds, 80, 90 pounds. It's a good sized fish. The hook hold looks good. We might even be able to land it on land. After 20 minutes of hard struggle, I have the better of it. Hey. And my goodness, feeling the strength of this thing. I wouldn't want that around my ankle or, you know, I wouldn't want to be head first down the mouth or something like that either. There we go. It looks a really sinister fish, that dark black colour, and it gets that from it gets that from living down in the lightless zone, you know, deep in the rocky pools where it just blends in with the background. And particularly looking at it from here, just the shape of it, you know, it's a great big mouth, large head, very muscular midriff, and then just tapering off into this very chunky, powerful propulsion unit. Just looking at these long whiskers that they use to probe their surroundings, it's pretty obvious where catfish get their name. The fisherman was actually half inside the mouth of the fish, just the legs of the fisherman sticking out. And there it is! Look at that for a fish! Look at that! 